Y'all say what y'all want, man, but I miss Alex Jones. Alex Jones was the Mad Hatter and Dog Whistler in Chief for the white right. That nigga talked about gay bombs and poison tap water making people gay. But now you look at everything in the mainstream media, maybe Alex Jones was right after all. And maybe that bomb wasn't the type of bomb you thought it was. Maybe that bomb meant bombardment. Yeah, Alex Jones is a genius. There's a method behind that madness. That is performative madness. Alex Jones had to apply countless layers of deflection, which means crazy, in order to conceal his real target. Remember, Alex Jones is one of them good old boys, like Southern white boy, straight 100% American white man. Who was Alex Jones' main targets? It was the liberals, the alphabet mafia, the monarchy, small hats, the mainstream media, the new world order, Rothschild, Glenn Beck, Bloomberg, Soros, the Clintons, Big Pharma, and the Vatican, right? And when it came to that whole gay frog thing, everybody thought he was crazy, right? Then he showed the science. When you take male frogs and put them in captivity, apart from female frogs, they actually morphed into asexual frogs capable of reproduction. Then the male frogs would then impregnate the once former male frogs, technically making them gay frogs. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Do you understand that? Turn, turn the, the friggin', friggin frogs, frogs gay. Serious crap. Gay frogs, friggin' frogs. Bow. It's not funny. I'm gonna say it real slow for you. If you're a new listener, just type in Pentagon test of gay bomb on Iraq. They considered, though they didn't consider using it. They've used it on our troops in Vietnam. They spray PCP on the troops. Jacob's ladder. <laughs> you think PCP? Some horse tranquilizer or something? They got stuff that'll whack your brain permanently. In 1994, the U.S. military actually considered building a gay bomb. And if they say they considered it, that means they did it. Matter of fact, they did it 20 years before they admitted that they considered it. And the ideal of a gay bomb came from a desire to debilitate and distract their opponents, but not necessarily kill them. And five unbelievable Pentagon schemes. Was the gay bomb one of them? Brain chips and the trips. They give the trips special vaccines that are really nanotech that already re engineer their brains. Now there it is, the gay bomb. Look it up for yourself. I mean, this is what they're. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. And I'm not saying people didn't naturally have homosexual feelings. I'm not even getting into it, quite frankly. I mean, give me a break. You think I am like a shock by it so that they're dashing into his I don't like gay people. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Yeah, the Pentagon is dropping gay bombs. 
the tap water is laced with gay chemicals, lowering the testosterone levels in men. You got brain chips and nanotech in the troops. Now, how much of that sounds far fetched today or has been proven to be true? Yeah, so. And nobody was safe from the wrath of Alex Jones. That nigga went after politicians, billionaires, uh, liberal Hollywood actors and actresses, the mainstream media. And he hated no one more than the Clintons, the Obamas and Glenn Beck. That nigga actually did Obama blackface and got away with it. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Alex Jones. <laughs> That nigga did Obama blackface. <laughs> oh, shit. He's up there with that little chicken neck. <laughs> you know how he walks like, ah, like a demonic elf. Hey, Bill Gates. <laughs> and Angelina Jolie going, ah, children. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm Piz Morgan. Ever seen a Choweny? My name's Glenn Beck. <laughs> That's Hillary. Hold on, I'm Gary Johnson. Hi, this is Barack Obama without my teleprompter. I was raised by the Ford Foundation and Carnegie Endowment. Welcome to McDonald's, may I help you? I'm Benny Sanders. Chris Hazel's glasses like he's a little smart guy. Rachel Meadow, eh, eh, eh. Thank you, Satan, for all your love. Signed, Cheryl Sandberg. Job of the Hut. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I'm the amazing Randy. I am Optimus Prime. I am William F. Buckley of the Central Intelligence Agency, here to control and steer the conservative movement into the sewer line. And the establishment says, Kambuga Shaka Munda, Kunga Kingo, Booga Laka Blue Black, 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 Black. Yo, that nigga hated Obama with a passion. That nigga made more money during Obama's eight-year term than at any other eight-year period in his entire career. <laughs> that nigga ate off Obama. Jones. Back, boom, everywhere. Glenn Beck. Mark that spot. The plague lies there. The enemy. There's nothing worse. Little, little minion. This little, this little, this little gremlin. Beck's not even a goblin. He's a, he's a gremlin. Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck. And he sits there like he's always on a toilet. He has this little face like he's constipated. Glenn Beck sits there on his chair. All, he comes on. He's like, where's this part where he's, like he's constipated on the screenshot? Like like back at the beginning of the video. Because it's so funny how Max all constipated. Here, I'm, I'm uh, split screen. Here we go. This is what they came up with. Let's hear the creature. That they dug up out of atheist, God-hating abortion radio. And let's hear what he has to say. Um, what is frightening to me is the, the lack of reaction it from the crowd. Again. 
was funny to me. It's all calculated. He, he scripts with actors and hops around. Big candy ass. I'm talking about back. I'm so scared. He's like, so everybody's supposed to be scared now. So dumb. Here it is. Um, what is frightening to me Everyone is... Everyone hates you, but the dumbest people. Look how pathetic he feels. Like, ooh, we have the moral high ground. Here it is. Um, what is frightening to me uh, is... Uh, uh, uh. I'm sorry, back at the beginning. I mean, just because I want to see that constipated look um, again. What is frightening to me back is... This, this is too sweet, see? He is such an arrogant piece of garbage. Let's finish the clip. Um, what is frightening to You're me... You're a bad person! You're a bad person! You're a bad, bad person! You're a bad person! He's a trash, in my view. crazy. Alex Jones need to let me get on this track. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. White supremacy. Niggas is the enemy. You drop gay bombs and drain your virility. You put in chemicals and tap water with the reptilian overlord world order. Now be a good nigga. Stand in line. Here, take a microchip. Control your mind. You gang now. You got control of everything. Niggas. physical hands around your stinking necks make no mistake parasites john we're going to break here when were you arrested okay uh, I get come again holy hell Yeah, remember, Alex Jones remade himself in the image of one William Bill Cooper of Behold the Pale Horse fan, right? It was actually the manuscript in which Alex Jones fashioned his entire career, right? And you got a plethora of these white dudes like this. So you got the, the Jordan Maxwells, remember the David Ickes, you got the Anthony Hilders. Y'all remember that debate? Anthony Hilder versus Khalid Muhammad is the white man, the devil. If you haven't seen it, look it up. I think you can find it on YouTube. Right? All of them talk about reptilian overlords. Yeah. Jordan Maxwell, David Icke, Anthony Hilda, Alex Jones. Right? And so did William Cooper. All talk about reptilian overlords. But you notice they never talk about small hats. Right? Yeah, they all talk about reptilian overlords, but none of them talk about the small hats. That is because the small hats are the reptilian overlords. <laughs> yeah, the goblins you always hear Alex Jones talking about. The goblins, the goblins. Those are the rank and file, low level masons and eastern stars. The reptilians are the Illuminati. And the Illuminati are the small hats who sit at the top of the pyramid scheme. So Alex Jones and these niggas talking complete dog whistle. That's why I call it performative madness.
Yeah, all my black identity extremist niggas, you already know. White supremacy, niggas is the enemy. We got proud boys that take oaths for infantry. We dropping gay bombs to drain your virility. We ethnically cleanse you niggas from our fucking memory. You don't exist, do you like they did the natives? Silent weapons and quiet wars without tanks and craters. Cointel Pro, gender wars and so and so. Socially engineered for niggas that know. You got Rothschild, small hats, big banks and gold. Gay frogs and Sandy Hook, no lies were told. Agenda 2030, new world order to reset. The global pandemic, everybody got defects. The Epstein conspiracy, niggas got short memory. The red pill apocalypse, it's no more chivalry. It's man hating man and wars amongst nations. Peace to all my FBAs, Jamaicans and Haitians. We see all you second and third generation racists that came from Ellis Island with your red and pale faces using ethnic minorities to gentrify the spaces. It's a hostile takeover, a third world makeover. The Ramaswamis and the Brahmins are coming cause it's a tsunami, your anti-black drama or something. Ukrainians, Iranians, we're hostile Canadians. Vatican got particle colliders with them aliens. In an attempt to make America great, to stave off annihilation for recessive mistakes, expect more redlining and benign neglect, gender wars and hate crimes with minds it affects, them little incel white boys that's sitting in basements, that can't get a girlfriend, so blacks feel the hatred, they run up in a supermarket or in a church, but still can't get a hate crime bill for what it's worth, but the Asians got it, cause they the model minority, the black identity the extremists so fuck your authority Alex Jones is a guy that we've heard about uh, here and there, right? And you hear, oh, Alex Jones thinks this, and he does, this, you know, 9-11 conspiracy, this, that. But, you know, he really is independent. you got to give him credit for that. And he went after Bush for some of his worst abuses, and I appreciated that. And he goes after Democrats, Republicans, doesn't care, right? And so there's some goodness to uh, Alex Jones, no question about it, and some, a lot of things that I appreciate. Uh, but we got so one of our listeners sent us a clip where he's going ballistic, he's going crazy, right? And we played it on the show, and we right. were, we were laughing, right? Because he just went, he lost it, okay? He just absolutely lost it. And now, and I don't, and I said in the clip, I don't agree with a lot of what Alex Jones says. I, right. I really, I'm going to keep it real. I think it's cr a little crazy, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and and so it's you know you can weed out the good, and then there's still bad, but everybody can disagree, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, he apparently saw that clip because his listener sent it to him. And now he's going to come after us. This is so much fun. Okay. First, he, he comes after the Young Turks, and then he goes crazy again. <laughs> All right. First, uh, let's see what kind of um, terrible people we are. Let's go. I mean, the stupid Young Turks show, millions of viewers a week on YouTube. Yep. <laughs> where they play the part of the middle of the road, Sorry. laughing, joking newscast. <laughs> did an attack piece on me saying, what's Alex so upset about CPS? What is that? Why is he angry at the CPS? What is that? How could five-year newscasters, been around for five years, Longer than they have that. a show on XM Sirius, too. How Thank could you. they not know what CPS is? How could they think I was a weirdo for getting angry? Knowing that over a million kids a year are taken without due process, by the Child Protective Services nationwide under a UN program and that the CPS is five times more likely in Europe at seven times to abuse children than any other group. I mean, do the Young Turks not know about CNN four years ago, 3,500 kids missing in Florida and they found a bunch of them dead that had been in CPS custody? They rape these kids and then kill them? 
You don't think raping and killing kids is a big deal? No, no, you do think it's a big deal. You just are so ignorant, you don't know what CPS is. And you take a clip out of context of me getting angry about children being abused. What's wrong with you? What type of person doesn't get angry at children being raped by big, fat government pedophiles? What type of person is so screwed up that they don't know this stuff's going on? What type of person doesn't get angry at that? <laughs> What is your problem? You are the people that are screwed up. You are the people that don't get upset by tyranny. You don't get upset by Bush having secret arrest teams that snatch and grab and torture people, and then now they're putting them on trial after five, six, seven, eight years of torture, depending on the case. That doesn't freak you out. I mean... <laughs> it, it, look, if you watch the show, and it's not his job to watch our show for all this time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> You would know, yeah, that definitely freaks us out, Alex. We talk about that all the time, right. right? And we did throughout Bush's reign of terror, if you will. It's just we don't, and sometimes I do, right? But not every show where he's like, you're the angry one! Okay, all right, Alex, all right, take it easy for a second, right? So, uh, now let's get to some of the things. Apparently we laugh too much. Sorry, Alex, we tr try to enjoy the show. I right. know, it's totally unacceptable. Uh, yes, we've been longer uh, around for longer than five years. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do get millions of viewers a week. Sorry. Sorry, what can we do? <laughs> okay, there, you, there we go again, laugh. On a, what? Why aren't you angry? Okay, all right. Uh -huh. Anyway, now let's get to CPS for a second. Yes. He's going to lose his mind. You ready for this? Yeah. My wife's a social worker. Yeah. Okay. Now, and so I, I know exactly how that happens, right? And this is why Alex is fundamentally wrong, mm -hmm. okay? doesn't mean he's wrong about everything, but he's wrong about the, the idea that everything's a conspiracy, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and look, even if he doesn't think that, it certainly comes across that way that he thinks everything's a conspiracy, right? They don't get together in a smoke-filled room like, which kids should we snatch? <laughs> it's crazy. That's not what happens. Now, if you want to... Alex Jones, five most disturbing and ridiculous conspiracy theories. And I'm here to tell you he had way more ridiculous conspiracy theories than this. These are most likely just the only ones that they can put in print. Because they would have had to explain too much. So, number one, the government has weather weapons. What? You never heard a heart? The high frequency active auroral research program? Yeah. You never heard of chemtrails and carbon black dust and weather warfare? All that shit straight out of the Behold the Pale Horse, whom Alex Jones plagiarized. <laughs> Operation Popeye, that's climate engineering and weather modification technology, right? Yeah, that's earthquakes in Haiti. Where's the lie? Number two, chemicals in the water that are turning frogs, and I'll add, and the people gay. Question. Has there been an astronomical rise in the gay, lesbian, and trans community? And is that by nature or is that by agenda? Number three, Robert Mueller is a demon and a pedo. I can confirm the first one. Number four, the Sandy Hook shooting was staged. Well, he preserved his right to say as much. He took it all the way to court. Right or wrong. He stood on his shit. And last. Number five. Hillary Clinton is running a child sex ring out of a pizza parlor. And that nigga fell on the sword of Pizzagate. All hail Alex Jones. Is your allegation that government officials are aiding in pedophilia, child trafficking, and the grooming of children? Right? Well, you mean like what Jeffrey Epstein did with the Clintons? Chemicals in the water to bring them.
loves you and your family. Get the drugs ready. Hardcore super feminist. High off Satanist. Pesky Muslim extremist. Communist. Crony capitalist. It's over for the globalist. Racist. He's Barack H. Obama. His religion is hating America. Family out of Kenya. He's a top digital mutilation pusher. Oh, we'll have lots of blood and semen. God, don't put that in the water. It's deadly poison. Get back. They're gonna blow up seven. They're gonna release a really specific bioweapon. Some of the computers will make the decision. They show mutated dead children. Half the kids on your block with autism. Psychological warfare systems. Come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Pentagon tested gay bomb. is the gay bomb. Come on, bomb. Hey. They turned the friggin' frogs gay. And I'm not for that, by the way. They turned the friggin' frogs gay. And walking around in a feminine way. They turned the friggin' frogs gay. And I'm not for that, by the way. They turned the friggin' frogs gay. You are now a total mind slave. Splicing little babies with fish. And behind it are mad scientists. Splicing little babies with fish. Humanoids cross with fish. The new world order isn't coming, it's here. You stand up to it like Paul Revere. I'm not against beer. Is that clear? I'm a pioneer. I'm here. We got lots of switches to flip. You like this switch? You like that switch? You want this switch? You like that Son switch? You like this switch? You like that switch? You want this switch? Baby you like that switch? Right you want this switch? You like that switch? You want this switch? You like that switch? You like this switch? You like that switch? You want this switch? You like that switch? Liberal, I'm liberal. Liberal, 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 I'm liberal. See you, liberal. Spiritual takeover via machines trying to sell you on taking vaccines. One superhuman will merge the machine. You're part of the dream. Demons. They're demons. Hillary Clinton is a goddamn demon. Demons. She is a demon. Murder the Christian. Yeah. Demons. They're demons. Hillary Clinton is a goddamn demon. Demons. She is a demon. Yeah. He'll say pig demon. From my cold dead head. We're giving you the Death Star plants. The Matrix in a trance. Sick stuff, man. Oh, we'll have lots of blood and semen. God, don't put that in the water. It's deadly poison. Get back. They're going to blow up seven. They're going to release a really specific bioweapon. Some of the computers will make the decision. They show mutated dead children. Half the kids on your block with autism. Psychological warfare systems. Space aliens. Harvest their organs. Super weapon. Brainwashed husband. Intergalactic invasion. Where the country's done as a third world nation. You're in the cult, bro. There's a demon in there running the show. You expose people that been spooned. Oh. And the midget goes... Fuck you, Alex Jones. 666 six, six is double 33. And 33 is pi. Mathematics! Mathematics! Every day. Chemicals in the water. Gay. Frogs! See Hillary on CNN. And try. Mathematics! Is a demon! When they call for the racial war. You people are Satanists! Scanning. Mathematics! Cruel. They earn the frog game. Scientific quantum mechanics take over. I like to have children. Shut down infrastructure. <laughs> She's a goddamn demon. Give everything the shot. <laughs> Look at this person. What is that joke? What is that? What is that? Mathematics.